Maybe let's, let's start with uh, uh, the most simplest one, let's say, to explain, uh, which is uh, the UV100. So what was missing really uh, as of now in our lineup was uh, what we call the true NDI, because a lot of, of models today are supporting NDI HX, which is basically 25 megabit per second bandwidth. So let's say a small bandwidth, but now we have a true high bandwidth NDI, means a camera that supports the NDI protocol, up to HD, but also 4K, and means uh, to get access to bandwidth like 100 megabits per second in HD and up to 250 uh, megabits in 4K. And it's especially important because lots of customers today are requesting to use uh, the NDI protocol within their workflows. So for the first time now, they will get access to the quality and uh, the features of a Panasonic PTZ camera. And we are still leading this market. And uh, this very interesting NDI protocol uh, owned by V30, and of course, NewTek, NewTek being owned by V30, that is uh, requested on, on the market. So the main news is about the workflow side. Of course, uh, uh, the, on the, the, the pure camera side, uh, uh, we have something of very high quality as well with a true uh, 4K camera. By true 4K, I mean being able uh, uh, to provide 50p and 60p in HD and not only 25p or 30p like it's usually the case uh, on the market. So true 4K 50p so that it can be easily installed in any broadcaster studio and so on. And to go along with that, of course, uh, we have many interfaces on the product like 12G SDI, 3G SDI, HDMI, and of course IP to go H.264, NDI, and so on. And all this can be combined at the same time. So it's possible to have a 4K output from the camera, but also at the same time an HD output with a different crop, so a different shot of the camera. Uh, to have NDI and so on. So in terms of workflow, it's a, it's, a, it's a very, very strong camera. We know that workflows are super important. And, and the camera, you can have the best camera ever. If it doesn't fit in the workflows of customers, it's, it, it's no use, of course. So thus, uh, the NDI, thus also the 3D, for example, protocol support that we have on our PTZ camera since the UE150, for example, and that we will have also on the UE100, the new one. And basically it means that when we support the 3D protocol, uh, uh, the camera can very easily be uh, incorporated in an AR or VR studio. Customers can use affordable compact PTZ to uh, manage their virtual studios. And, and in terms of cost, Reduction, it's extremely important for customers and uh, it gives access to, uh, uh, to, 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 to much more customers to, to AR and VR than it used to be in the past. The pricing is not yet uh, announced, uh, but it will be uh, well, above, uh, well below sorry, uh, the UE150. Mm -hmm.